Okay, guys, I am going to show you what expanded notation is. Okay, expanded notation. You guys learned expanded form already. So this is just a tad bit different. Just a little bit. Okay, so here, let's do this. My ones, my tens, and my hundreds. We are going to do this with the small number first. Okay, so, and I have these little manipulatives. Okay, well, let's learn with this number. How many uh, hundreds do I have? Okay, I have one, two, three hundreds. I put three in my hundreds. How many times? Okay, I have three of them. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I have five tens and one, two, three, four. I have four ones. Okay, so if I was doing what you guys already learned, um, expanded form, expanded form would simply just look like how many hundreds? I have three hundreds, so I have three hundreds. How many uh, tens? I have five. It would be plus five, zero, because that's 50. And then plus how many ones? I have four. Okay, so I have 300 plus 50 plus four. That is simply the expanded form. And this you guys already learned. So I just put it here so you know that it's different than expanded notation. Okay, now... Let's do expanded notation from this number right here, okay? You would do this. You would look at three. How many, how many of these do I have? I have three of these, right? I have 300. So I put these hundreds down here three times, okay? So... I would start with the parenthesis and then put my three times 100. Because I have these hundreds three times, one, two, three. How many of these do I have? I have three because that would give me 300, okay? Plus, you get my tens. How many times do I have these? I have one, two, three, four, five. So I have 5 times 10 because I have 5 tens plus my 1s. I have 4 1s. So I have 4 times 1. And this is how I would write the expanded notation of 354. Okay. So it is pretty much the number times the place value. Okay. The number times the place value plus the number times the place value. So it's pretty much the sum of each number in its place value, okay? Let's see, let's work with a bigger number. Let's work with a bigger number. Let me do a little quick um, place value chart. On this side, we'll have our ones period and our thousands period, okay? And these would be my, I'll go ahead and write it out, my ones, my tens, and my hundreds. And then here you will have my one thousands, one thousands place, my ten thousands place and my hundred thousands place and my hundred thousands place okay let's do a larger number oh yeah and right in the middle you have your comma okay don't forget that comma okay so let's say we have the number i don't know seventy eight thousand five hundred and thirty two okay and don't forget my comma okay so what does this mean? How do I get my expanded notation? How do I write my expanded notation? Well, remember, it's the number times its place value. Okay, so I have my number. I'm going to write with the pen because it's going to get big. Okay, my number seven 
times the place value, 10,000. This would give me 70,000, just like seven ten thousands is 70,000. So that's where I get this from. Okay, and then you're gonna, you're taking the sum of all of these. Okay, so you're adding them all together. 1,000's place, I have eight, okay? So I have my number and times the place value, that's 1,000. Okay, and then you're gonna put in another addition sign. Now my number times the place value, times 100, because that would give me 500, just like I have here. Okay, plus, let me go down here, my number, well, it's parenthesis and then the number, times the place value, plus one, plus my number, times the place value. And that right there, guys, that's expanded notation. Just remember, expanded notation is going to be the one where you use multiplications and parentheses, okay? So let me emphasize this with some color so you know that this is your, oops, well, here, hold on. Expanded notation, okay? So here you go. I will add these underneath the video in your assignment. So you could always uh, go back and look at it. Make sure that this gets copied in your math journal. But real quick, one more time. Okay. When you are doing expanded notation, expanded notation, it's different than expanded form. Expanded notation, think of parentheses and think of multiplication sign. Okay. Parentheses and multiplication. Think of that when you're thinking of notation, okay? So you get the number times the place value. And then you're going to take the sum. So you're adding them together. Another open, open parenthesis, the number times the place value, close parenthesis, plus the number times the place value, okay? Close your parenthesis, plus the number, which is three right here, times the place value, the tens, and the last one, plus the number times the place value, okay? That will give you the expanded notation, okay? And that is it for today. Let me turn this.